recording or recording? Yes. Now let us um, try to. Okay. Okay. So you can also record. No problem. So shall I give you the permission to record? Uh no. I'm I'm recording. Okay. You are I'm recording. The... Okay. Okay. That's great. So okay. Try to understand. You understood the question is saying a function f is such that f x. This is my function. And it is saying that two x minus one is factor of both f x. That means of this function and its derivative. That means its differentiation. So first of all, try to find what would be the value of f dash x. That means its derivative. So you know how to differentiate. When we are going to differentiate this all function, what we are going to get? Tell me, we are going to get twelve x x square. Then twelve x x square. Then ah uh, yes, twelve x square plus yes. eight x plus a plus a. So now I have two function. I have function f x and I have other function f dash x. That means the derivation means differentiation and derivative of this function. Okay, is it clear? Now yes. the question is saying that when we are going to put. The value of x from this expression to each. That means in this one and in this one, we are always going to get zero. We are always going to get zero. Why? Because this is the factor. This is the factor. Uh, Let us take out the value of two x minus one is equal to zero. Try to find out the value of x from here. X would be equal to one by two. Okay. I am putting this one by two. From from here, I have taken out the value of x from this expression, okay, which is the factor, which is the factor of this one and this one. Now I would be putting this x to my this function and to my this function, and in both the time I would be getting result is equal to zero because they both are factors. Means means this one is factor of both of them, okay. Now try to understand. I am putting the values. So I'm putting f one by two. First of all, in this function, means f four cube plus four x x square plus a x plus b. Okay, and that whole thing would be equal to zero. Okay, and then what I would be doing? I would be putting my value one by two in differentiation one. That means twelve x square. First, 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 sir, sir, first, 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 two. Okay, okay. Index. Actually, yes. Actually, next one I am oh, going to solve. So write this one and tell me. I'm I'm going to solve in next page. So therefore, everybody could see. Right here, actually, there is less space. So I'm just explaining here the concept. Done. Have you written this? Uh, wait. Two minutes. It turns. So yeah. Yes. Yes. Please. Please ask. Okay, okay. Means, are you understanding? I think the same question we did yesterday. The same question was there, right? So, if yes. it is saying that two x minus one is factor of both, that is f x function and f dash x function, that means when I am going to put the value of x from the expression in both the functions, we are getting zero because that is the factor okay. theorem. So, sir, sir, yes, yes, move to. Yes, move the. Okay. Uh, okay, just okay, just tell tell me the value of first function. First function four four x cube was there, right? Four 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 x cube means four, one means means one uh, one by three cube. Then plus plus uh, uh, plus plus four four x square, right? Half, yes, yes, half, half square plus. Square, yes. Then plus a a into half, half. Mm -hmm. a x was there, okay, and just b. There was just b, right? Yeah. Is equal to zero. Let us solve. So here it would be four time one by eight, okay. Here it would be four time one by four. Here it would be a by two, and here it would be plus b is equal to zero. Now see, can I cancel them? Four twos are eight. Now can I cancel them? Okay. 
Now see what would be one by two cube. It would be one by eight. What would be one yes. by two square? It would be one by four. Now I can cancel this four and eight. Four twos are eight, and four and four will cancel each other. See what I will be having. I would be having one by two. Plus I would be having one. just one. I would be having a by two. I would be having plus b is equal to zero, right? Now let us take a the LCM. LCM would be two. Okay. This would be one. This thing here is one, so one time two would be two, and here I will be multiplying. It would be two. Are you understanding this, right? You know how to solve a fraction, okay? And then two and two will cancel each other, so one. So one into a would be just a, and here I have here one, okay? So one into two would be two. I would be dividing, yes. and two into b, two b would be there. There would be yes. because here is one. So first of all, I divide its denominator here to LCM. So equal zero is yes equal zero. Okay, now let us calculate. So it would be three plus a plus two b, and if this will go that side, that would be zero because two multiplied with zero would be zero. Okay, so now yes. this would be a plus two b is equal to minus three because this three will go that side, and this will become minus three. This is my equation number one. Okay, please write it down in your notebook. This is your equation number one. You you actually write in rough, in write in rough. At last, you can fear all these slides. I would be sending you all these slides PDF for fall. Any any doubt up to here? No, no. I think plus one. I want plus two plus one by one. I don't see. I see a cool. I want to do to. Plus two plus eight. Plus okay, now that two would be multiplied that side. Two into zero would be zero. So I am means skipping that step. So I have written this is like this means equal to zero. I should write here. This was not aligned. Okay. And plus two. Yes. Finished. Now this was equation number one, and now we are going to solve equation number two. In f dash x, we are going to put one by two. Can you tell me f dash x? What was that? F dash. Uh, yes. That was twelve x. Twelve x square means one by two square. Okay then. Plus eight into into half. Okay. Plus a. A that would be equal to zero because one by two was also the factor. Okay, factor. So therefore, I'm writing now solve this. So it would be twelve, and it would be one by four. It would be here two times four. So it would be just four, and it would be just a is equal to zero. Actually, I think this is the more easy one. You know, here you don't have to solve by elimination method. You will be getting the direct answer. So four three is a twelve. So we have three, we have plus four, we have plus a is equal to zero. And here I can add three and four is equal to seven plus and plus a is equal to zero. What would be the value of your a? A would be equal to minus minus seven. And now, if you got a is equal to minus seven, if this is equation two, and one more equation you had, one more equation you had, this one, a plus two b is equal to minus three. See, a plus two b is equal to minus three. Now I know what is my a. Can I find my b? Yes, I can. So I know my a. A is minus seven, and 
actually here no need to use elimination here they have made question more easy than yesterday ones yesterday ones we do not know a and b both but here with second equation i know my a so no need to eliminate right here i can only put and find it is making the question easy for me okay now this is minus 3 okay now this minus 7 will go that side so 2b is equal yeah. to minus 3 plus 7 plus can i write 7. 4 can i write 4 directly yeah. 4 yes. means means did means did you understood right now i said like that it was plus b 7 b is equal to 2 b is because equal to yes now come divide now now read question read this part wait, wait. I, need, yes, sir, sir, sir. I need to write the effects differentiation okay okay right I, right okay. you so here what the question was saying show that b is equal to two and what we got what we got in answer what you think sir what okay 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 right is? and we also found the value of a here okay write this one just i'm stopping the recording for that time yes so here i got a i got b now wait now yes correct correct yes correct correct yes correct 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 yes so now come to the next part so now i know my a i know my b as well so now can i write rewrite my this function as 4x cube plus 4x square. What is my a? I think my a is minus 7, right? So yes. here I would be writing minus 7, minus 7x. And here b is b is equal to 2, right? Plus 2, right? Yes, right, plus right, 2. Right. right? So can I rewrite what? my equation like this? Right now, the a and b were hidden. The a and b were hidden but we found the value of a and b by solving and the same value i'm just putting in this given equation in given function are you understanding here is a here is b i found a as minus seven if you will see i found a as minus seven, seven. b as two and same thing i am putting here i am oh, you're right here. plus and then and then and then bracket minus yeah. yes so plus minus would be minus so it would be directly minus 7x no need to do that much okay teacher will understand that much so is it clear okay now is it clear yes now, read question number two in question number two when you are going to put the value of x from this expression what remainder you would be getting means if you are putting the value of x in this function what remainder you would be getting this right thing. this is the question now so write this function right write this function the original one right in your notebook this is my original expression there a and b were hidden but right now i uncovered a and b by solving and therefore i know that this was my actual expression in which a and b were hidden but now there is nothing okay no cover is there done okay. now i have yes. to put this one as remainder to find remainder okay x so, minus yes. 3 you x will, sorry x plus yes. 3 okay you will equate yes, you with will, zero uh, you will equate this by zero yes, yes correct zero. so first of all tell me the function fx the real one 4x cube 4x plus 4x, 4x square, plus square minus, minus 7x plus okay 2. plus 2 okay and now for what i have to find the remainder x plus 3 is equal to 0. So here my x is equal to minus 3. Just I'm going to put it here and I'm going to solve whatever would be the remainder that will come. So here f minus 3 would be what? So here 4 times uh, minus 3 cube uh, then plus 4 times minus 3 square then minus 7 multiplied by minus 3 plus 2 done i just put the value of x x x as minus 3 at all the places done yes now yes try to understand minus 3 cube would be what that would be minus 3 cube that would be right, right. Huh? Uh, three multiplied by three multiplied by three would be mine 
नाइन मल्टीप्लाई थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाय थ्री इज नाइन एंड देन मल्टीप्लाई बाय थ्री इज इज माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन विल कम माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन बिकॉज इट इज क्यू मीन्स माइनस स्क्वायर स्क्वायर इज पॉजिटिव इज इट स्क्वायर इज इट स्क्वायर इट इज क्यू इफ पावर इज इवन नंबर देन रिजल्ट इज पॉजिटिव इफ पावर इज ऑड नंबर द रिजल्ट इज नेगेटिव सो वट इज दिस थ्री इज इवन और ऑड सो देर फॉर वट वुड बी माई रिजल्ट नेगेटिव और पॉजिटिव सो देर फॉर आई एम राइटिंग माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड मल्टीप्लाइड बाय फोर फोर वॉज ऑलरेडी देयर नाउ दिस वुड बी पॉजिटिव दिस वुड बी पॉजिटिव नाइन सो फोर इन टू नाइन थ्री स्क्वायर वुड बी नाइन and now again this would be positive minus 7 and minus 3 is negative negative so then plus 21 can, so can i write that plus 2 plus there are how many variable uh, there are how many no there is no variable at all because i have to find the remainder so there would be no variable nothing variable all are constant okay now just multiply 27 times 4 would be what uh so this this would be maybe one night night maybe so this would be that would be you are great at using calculator right so no one uh 108 minus 108 and 9 times 4 would be 36 36 26. 21 plus 2 now you tell me the answer for this all thing Now tell me this is negative. These all are positive. Now tell me the answer. Okay, okay. Uh, eight, eight plus. What is your answer? I think I am correct. What is your answer? uh wait sir subtract or or add or add this is this is minus actually i don't know you you already know how to solve these so what shall i teach you in this one actually this is grade 6 minus thing. minus 6 sir minus 58 58 what what you were saying Just oh yes yes minus, minus uh Fifty. Fifty. Just a second. Minus one zero eight. One zero eight. Then we have Seven. minus thirty six. Minus twenty one. And no, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. No, Actually, my four, my, my answer was correct. So I thought that how I made the mistake. I already wrote there minus forty nine. Okay. Minus. Right. Forty nine. I thought that I made some calculation mistake or what? Okay. So this is my answer. So what would be my remainder when my f x function would be divided by x plus three? My remainder would be minus forty nine. Oh. My answer for second came right. Now third. Yes. Express f x in the form of Two x minus one and this as quadratic function. I told you in yesterday class also when they are saying to express like that, they mean that you need to divide by long division method by this one by factor, right? Your original function you are going to divide by two x minus one. I told you in previous class yes. also, right? See, they will always say express in form of f x. They will they will give anything and like this. Always divide with this number. With with this 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 expression to your original expression, okay. So I'm going to divide. I'm going to divide. Two is two x. Okay. First four. of all, tell me the original function. What was that? Four. Four, four f x. Four four x cube yes. plus. Four four x plus four x square minus okay. seven x plus two. Mm -hmm. Plus two. Okay. And I have to divide by two x minus one. Now you tell me. 2x minus 1, and I'm dividing by. I'm dividing to 4x cube plus 4x square. I would be getting zero because I already know that this is the factor, right? Now, so what shall I write here? 
in rough i am telling you i am taking my first term dividing with my first term okay, okay? yes wait, wait, so, wait let me let do it let me do it let okay okay do it. okay 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 so now i am pausing the video again if if you will yeah. finish you tell me okay see so we were dividing this one you tried very well now try to understand here you are clear with this step there is no doubt when i would be divide yeah. here it would be 2x square right now i would be changing the symbol it would be minus it would be plus it will cancel and it would be 4 plus 2 would be 6x square rest of the thing i would be just copying from the top now i have this number i will divide from this so 6x square divided by 2x x and x will cancel 2 3 is a 6 so plus 3x is going to come right so i would be writing the same thing here see 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 here focus focus i know you have solved that one but please see here then now this is minus this is plus plus and minus will make minus minus 3 x and here you made one mistake now try to see here i'll change the sign this is minus this will become plus it will cancel and minus 7x plus 3x will make a minus 4x you wrote plus 4x here so this was no, just a no. minute mistake the, uh, the problem was in here the problem when i when i divide okay when so i divide i wrote I when yes when I divide I divide it by only plus four x not I divide this minus four x. Okay 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 so you have to divide with minus four x okay so minus four x I would be writing I would be dividing with two x okay now this thing this thing will go this would be two times so minus two yeah, I would yeah. be writing there minus yeah, four yeah. yes and now I would be multi see multiplying minus one and minus two will make plus two. Minus and minus will make plus. Plus. Now change the symbol. This is minus. This will become plus. This is plus. This will become minus. This minus and plus equal. They will cancel. This two will cancel. Remainder is zero. I would already be knowing that remainder would be zero because this whole thing was factor of this, right? So therefore, this is my answer. This is my answer. Please write it down anywhere. Two x square plus three x minus two. Sir, uh, sir, I want to bring my breakfast. Can I go? Breakfast right yeah. now? Okay, okay. Yes. Just, just actually wait, wait for five minutes. Then I'll tell you to go. See here. Now, can you see? This was written like this: p x square plus q x plus r. And uh, what? And 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 what we got? Two okay. x square plus three x minus two. Right. We got two x x square. Plus three x minus two. So what is my p? What is my p? Minus two plus is yes, two. Uh, p is equal 2x to square. two. No, 2x no, p. Square. No, no, p would be just two, right? It was p x square. So I already have x square like this, right? Okay. So p would be equal to two, and r would be equal to minus two. two. Are you understanding? So this Thank whole you. yes, and where? it was asking p and q and r are integers and what is my q my q is equal to 3 and therefore i gave the answer see i found all the integers my p is equal to 2 my q is equal to 3 and my r is equal to minus 2 right so it was all about division they have just twisted the question but same thing they are saying same thing that you divide when you divide you will get your answer If I uh if I read uh if 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 I wrote plus two, they will not uh detect all the marks. They will just no no. Some... Yes, actually they will deduct few marks. They will give the marks for the steps. Don't worry. In in India where I was studying in Jharkhand board, there they are deducting all the marks. If I made any one mistake in ten marks question, they will deduct all the ten marks. This was the problem. But still, I got ninety-eight marks in maths in grade twelve. So I actually I was very precise in maths. I was solving very when quickly and very precisely. I was taking care of each and every step. So therefore, I got all the marks. I Means two marks were cut, but I got ninety-eight out of hundred. So no, so so now is it clear? Now is it clear how to solve? Now so, see. So yes. Okay, okay. See the last part. See the last part. Read the fourth question. 
uh, find the value of x for fx is equal x to 0 right means it is saying that you just have to find this cubic equation you have to solve this cubic equation it's very easy see try to understand it's very easy what is my cubic equation 4x cube plus 4x square Square plus x uh, plus no, minus, mi minus 7x and plus, plus 2 plus 2 Right now, see, see, try to understand all the actually this thing and this thing when they would be multiplied together. See, these things are written in factors. Let me rub this whole page, then you will understand. Now, if you will see when we multiply this thing and this thing, I would be getting my same function. I would be getting my same function. Same function. Actually, they have solved me up to here. They have solved me up to here. Okay. So no okay. need to worry. See, they have solved me up to here. What they have solved? This part and this part. See, what can I write instead of that? I could write 2x minus 1 would be factor like this. And I could write 2x square, which I found, which I found from the quotient. Say this is very important part and critical part. 2x square plus 3x minus 2 plus 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. We sir, we know we know when we I have just, like this. No, sir, you can just do by the fx. So fx is uh, is, is equal to zero. So four multiply by four no 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 by no 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 not 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 like that. See, they are saying uh, to to solve equation to find the value of x. Actually, they are not talking about any remainder or any factor. Did they told? They are saying find the value of x. They are saying find the value of x. They are not saying find the value of fx. Are you understanding my point? They are saying yes. what would be the value of x. Try to understand. What is the degree of this function? A degree of this function, the highest power? Three. So how many solution is there? Three. Three. That means I would be getting 3x. I would be getting three values of yes. x, right? And how we solve yes. in quadratic equation. So this is a kind of quadratic equation. This is already yes. solved for us, right? Can I write 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 or can I write 2x square plus 3x minus 2 is equal to 0? Can I write like yes. that? And can I also yes. solve x is equal to 1 by 2? Can I solve for this part? So 1x is 1 by 2. I don't know 2, but I know how to solve the quadratic equation. I know how to solve quadratic equation yes try to solve quadratic equation so this is a this is like b and this is c what is the formula for x try to understand minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac by 2a this is the yeah. quadratic formula right now put first of yeah. all find this one root one because i want to check that it has real root or not suppose it will come less than one this value then no need to solve because they would be imaginary number any negative thing in root is imaginary so first of all check that i'm solving cc here b square minus 4ac what is b square 3 square, square, three, uh, yes, three square. minus 4ac 4 a what is my a my a is 2 my two. a is 2 so i'm writing into 2 what is my c my c is minus 2 is it clear root over yes. 3 square would be 9. And see here, minus and minus will make here minus 2 and this one. What it will make? Minus and minus will make plus. plus Try to understand. Here, so eight, yes. 16. 16. So 16 plus 9. Okay. Root over will make root 25. And root 25 is equal to 5. So this whole value is 5 for me. Are you understanding this? Yes. Now what wait. Is minus Minus yes. B now now I would be solving. This is minus B. This is this is B. This is B. This is A. Minus this B is plus five. Minus B plus five. And one uh, time. Wait, wait, wait. Just a second. So I have X is equal to minus B plus minus root over B square minus four AC by two A. Okay. We solve this. What is what is my function? Yes, I know. I solved. I'm just writing the step 2x square to make you understand properly plus 3x minus 2. This was my question, right? Now, try to understand Altep. See, 
here one time i have to take plus one time i have to take minus so i am taking alpha so i am just assuming it alpha right so one time when i would be taking plus i am assuming at alpha so one time i am getting minus b plus root over b square minus 4ac by 2 is it clear is it clear or not yes so now minus b that means minus 3 b is 3 and i have to put a minus so minus 3 plus i know what is the value of this whole thing that would be 5 and 2a what is my 2 2 is 2 and what is my a a is 2 2 times 2 right so now uh, 5 minus 3 would be 2 2 by 4 2 by 4 right 2 by 4 would be 1 by 2. Okay, so another one is also 1 by 2. Find find the last one. Beta. Find beta. So how I would be finding beta? I would be taking minus here. Minus b instead of plus, I would be taking one time minus. Minus root over b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. 2a would be just 2 by 2 again. Now I am C putting here. I am solving here this one. Minus B would be again minus 3 and minus, minus 5 divided yes. by again 2 times 2. So minus that way, 8 over, minus over, 8 4. over 4. That means minus 2. 2. So I got 3 solutions. One solution minus. was 1 by 2. Again, another solution was 1 by 2. Right. And yes. again, the last solution which I had is minus 2, which I had is minus 2. So if you will see from here, I can conclude that all the question which additional maths is asking in paper, they all are interconnected to each other. After finding this question, this question will become easy. After finding this, this will become easy. And after finding this, this will become easy. And like that, everything will go on. Any problem in solving these type of questions? Because only this type of question is going to come in additional maths. Additional maths is very predictive. We can easily pre means predict what question is going to come. And if you understand how to solve this kind of question, if you understood the concept, you can solve any question because they are just going to change the value. The question would be same. Pattern would be same. Is it clear? Yes. Is it clear or not? Yes. So any doubt? So I would be sending you all the solution, these solution. So now I'm stopping the recording just a second.